Hey, Shiz. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do um, the daily reading for Wednesday, September 1st. Okay. This is for all signs, okay? This is a collective daily reading for Wednesday, September 1st, okay? Just want to get the message out um, for you, and then we'll clarify and see why, okay? So for the collective spirit for September 1st. What message do you have for the collective spirit for September 1st, 2021? A lot of different energies happening right now. Planets in retrograde. Okay. Let's see exactly what's going on right now. For September 1st, 2021. What message do you have for the collective spirit for September 1st, 2021? Are you using my Denise Lynn deck, Sacred Force? You get truth, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, it says enlightenment, okay? So, truth, number 32, it reduces to five, okay? And that's about change, okay? Bottom of the deck is enlightenment, okay? 19, it reduces to 10, which is about um, an ending, you know, end of one cycle to begin a new cycle, okay? So, let's read the message for you. Okay, truth, raven spirit. Okay. All right. It says, the soul loves the truth. Find your truth. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Be fearless in your journey. Follow your inner guidance. Let go of what is not authentic and sincere in your life. Okay. Be a shining example of truth for others. So this is being authentic, being who you are, being uh, transparent, okay? Being real, right? So let's clarify this message and see why it's here for the collective, okay? For the collective spirit, clarifying this truth card for the collective here on September 1st. Truth, being authentic, okay? Being honest with yourself first okay right. Right. why is truth here for the collective spirit on september 1st it's like first someone gets honest with themselves maybe because they are enlightened truth why is truth here for the collective spirit? Okay. Yeah, and look, so we have, yeah. Okay. The Ten of Swords and then the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this can be um, someone revealing that the truth about them not being happy. Okay, with the Ten of Swords, this is about betrayal. Okay, this is about being stabbed in the back. This is that Ten. Okay, this is the end of something, right? Like I'm done, you know, done deal, right? Um, push to the limit. No more to give, right? But with the seven of swords behind that, somebody might have been not honest about that. It could have been, you know, saying like, oh, yeah, my life is great. Ten of cups. I'm, you know, I'm beautiful. Everything's wonderful. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. Stabbed in the back, ten of swords. Okay. This is the energy that you're in for real. Okay. So someone was not being honest. Okay. But they're being honest now, it seems. Someone's being honest with themselves. Even if they're not expressing it to anyone else, they're being honest with themselves that, you know what, I am defeated right now. I feel defeated. I'm ten of swords. I'm broken down, okay? I'm not being honest about how I feel, okay? Um, and But it looks like they are now, okay? We have the Page of Wands. This is exciting communication, Okay? And then we have the seven of pentacles. This is about investment. Okay. So it seems like somebody wants to invest, wants to put in no time, wants to um, review something, give something a chance. Okay. With the full car here, 
This is about taking a leap of faith. This is going into the unknown. It's like someone is being honest with themselves first, okay? But then they are also maybe communicating or getting some communication that they've been waiting for with the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Let's get some more. Why is truth here for the collective on Wednesday, September 1st? Why is truth here for the collective? On Wednesday, September 1st, why is truth here for the collective spirit? Truth for the collective spirit. Okay, so that Ten of Swords and that Seven of Swords actually came out. Okay, so this is someone, you know, you know, being honest, right? But they actually, at this point, you know, now that they are being honest, they actually want to put in the work on themselves, right? So this, the Eight of Pentacles is like working on self. And with the tower, this is like unexpected, okay? Um, somebody could be ready to like meet you halfway and like, you know, put in the work on something that they might have been like waiting around to do, okay? With the hermit and the six of cups, it's like somebody's been thinking a lot about the past, okay? Yeah. Somebody's been thinking a lot about the past, what they've experienced, maybe their childhood, um, thinking a lot about just like in nostalgia energy, just doing like deep evaluation. Okay. And they, they're starting to see like why they haven't been able to like start new ventures or go into, um, a different, you know, going to the things that they are inspired by because they were lying to themselves about how they were feeling. Okay. Yeah, but with enlightenment on the bottom, seems like someone's getting a wake-up call. All right, so let's read. Number 19, right? We said that. And it says, it's Forest Temple. <laughs> Positive changes are coming. You are lightening up. Feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. Okay, so someone is starting to realize that, you know what? I don't have to stay in this ten of swords energy. I don't have to stay there, right? Or I can let that go and start fresh, start anew, okay? So this can be someone that has been, you know, done wrong, done dirty, okay? And they weren't being honest about that. They weren't being honest about how that betrayal impacted them okay so some truth is coming out should that's what i have for you i hope this helped and if this is you be honest with yourself first wish you guys already bye <laughs> um sorry